Return to target. You're clear to fire. You're watching an F-4 Phantom as it dies. There is no romance here. It's a jet stricken, disoriented, killed by a missile shot, dying in violent skies. Pilots know they'll someday face the challenge of such violence. When they do, this is what they'll see. The Hollywood notion of a fighter pilot misses the simple truth that they're an integral part of a deadly serious, no kidding weapon. They shoot, they bomb, they fire missiles, and are fired at with the intent of their destruction. Pilots are at risk not just from an enemy breathing down their neck, but also from the jet they fly. After all, the cockpit is no safe place either, wrapped as it is in a virtual glove of explosives. Little is said of these times, the violent skies. There's such a thin, sudden line dividing a pleasant day at Mach 2 and a massive explosion that takes aircraft and crew down. But what can be said comes down to this. Things happen quickly. When it gets ugly, things happen quickly indeed. When viewed as a weapon, the fighter takes on an entirely different perspective. Instead of speed and G's, one thinks of it as a delivery system. How many bombs can it carry? How many missiles can be fired? Most solutions combine hard points under the wing, ejection mechanisms that release the weapons, and a management system in the cockpit. Today's fighters can be configured to carry a variety of loads, adding or removing pylons accordingly. This jet is putting the paveway system to use. Much has been done to provide a fighter pilot with protection from the volatile weapons and rocket motors that hang just feet from his cockpit. Can the pilot be protected in the event of a malfunction? Not entirely, but munitions designers and explosive experts have done amazing things to control the reaction of a bomb or a rocket motor. To actually engineer its explosion or burn. At China Lake Naval Weapons Center, Rocket motors, bombs, missiles, and other explosives are cooked, dropped, frozen, shaken, and shot with bullets and hot fragments. The objective is to engineer a controlled burn. Explosions are undesirable. Two systems have emerged. In the first, the outer jacket of the rocket motor is built with lines for gases to escape, thereby directing the motor reactants to burn. The second ejects the explosive charge away from the heat. Before and after video helps engineers evaluate these modifications, which in fact have proven to be quite effective.
These tests simulate the effects of escaped steam or the heat of a compartment fire on a weapon. The fire pits generate 1,600 degrees. Another interesting test examines the effect of a 20 millimeter tracer round on a bomb or a rocket motor. In these sequences, AMRAMs, HARMS, and Mark 83 bombs are shot point blank. Guns are also tested. At China Lake, an entire magazine of 960 rounds is sped through and fired at once. The gun, despite common lore, does not melt down. Kill shots, long motor burns that seem to end in nothing, and then a puff of black smoke, the flash of a drop tank exploding, or the complete detonation of the aircraft. It staggers the mind to watch the impossible geometry of the intercept, and then to witness the size of the kill ring. You don't have to hit a target to destroy it. 
just near it, above, below it. In violent skies, even behind it will do.
clear from the range engineer. Blockhouse fire control. Three, two, one. Guidance systems are the brains of a missile. Without them, a sparrow or a sidewinder is just a Roman candle. Guidance system failures were surprisingly common in the early years of Vietnam, but rarer today. This booster has suffered a guidance system failure, and the flight must be terminated. Ejecting the missile off the rails is one method of managing the separation, and is shown here. Firing the missile down the rail is another. Both are used on fighters. Once fired, the motor accelerates the missile rapidly through the sound barrier and onto the kill. Air-to-air -air gun and missile training takes on several forms. Most appealing to the pilot is combat against a drone. Drones are real aircraft flown by remote control. They are put into the air to be shot down. They are inviting targets that give pilots a tremendous shot of adrenaline and often the beautiful sight of a fireball.
Okay, Harlow, what do you got? Still no destruct. I don't know. I'm just parked on the side. There we go. Bodies in the impact now. We still got a couple of wings out there floating around. Drones of all size and shape have been developed and employed. Some were custom built, the propeller drone for one, and could be air or land launched. Others are surplus missiles, such as the Regulus. Many more, though, are conversions, aircraft taken from inventory and converted to use as a drone. The precision of infrared guidance is clearly seen here as an early AIM-9 Sidewinder bores up the pipe of a surplus Air Force mace. Infrared paints heat as black and cool spots as white. The seeker simply selects the dark area, representing the engine exhaust, and kills it. The latest addition to the target fleet is the venerable F-4 Phantom, now called the QF-4. Converting the F-4 is not terribly complicated. In addition to servos and wiring to remotely manipulate the flight controls, the QF-4 is hung with sensors to manage telemetry, scoring, and if necessary, flight termination charges. Once installed, antenna are tested at Rome Labs, while the termination system is tested at Agland. When you tie a 500-pound bomb under the wing of a fighter, you would think another law of physics would do its stuff with ease. The truth is, what happens on the ground doesn't apply in the air, not at 500 miles per hour. Gravity, which cleanly pulls a bomb off the rack on the ground, is a weakened force at altitude, and separation testing and separation management have become an art. Good separations are beautiful to watch, a poetry of motion that belies the violence within the deadly objects clustered together. Thank <laughs> you. 
Clean separations are often born of failure. Watch the disarray when a bomb, a drop tank, or a missile sequences out of control or reacts incorrectly to the G's pulled during the flight test profile. From the slightest wobbling to a fin out of alignment, the jet and the pilot are suddenly at risk from their own munitions. Separation tests anticipate all types of mistakes. A common enough problem, hung bombs. As these sequences demonstrate, the stuck bomb throws off the trajectory of the bombs that do release. A somewhat amusing weapon to watch was the BAT, a winged glide bomb once tested by the Navy. It is true that in World War II, bombers were so thick in the sky that bombs from one ship blew another out of the sky. Today, with packages of 10, 20, 30 or more attack aircraft, the risks of violence remain. Fortunately, several systems, all highly classified, help prevent guided missiles from seeking friendly aircraft.
3-3-0-17. Yet another risk is the midair. Converging at 1,000 miles per hour, two jets need only miscalculate their geometry for a single second before they collide. Bandit. Can't be bandit. So you got anything? Through the bandit, uh, two, six, 12. Okay, one's coming in on a bandit uh, on the west side of the area. Fox 2. Fox 2. Murder! Murder! Knock it off, knock it off. Raccoon 1, man! I'm on fire! I'm getting out! Mark! Copy the Mayday from the Warning, warning, warning. Copy the Mayday, got the point. Warning, warning. Copy. Got the police. See you, shoot. Check, Mayday off. Eddie, you have my position. My position. Your position. You're about uh, three miles south. Okay, I've got to shoot. I've got to shoot. Contact command post at Coonside. Have a shoot. Aircraft is going down with my position now. I'll be off frequency one. I'll be mounting guard. If the stores aren't hit by a golden bullet and the tail fins are correctly aligned, if the sky's clear of missiles and the systems have acquired the target, after all this comes the mission pilots train for. In Desert Storm, it was a mission with almost instant gratification. 50,000 feet, that makes it 40, that looks good. Coming on the pickle button. We're looking good, clear to pickle. On the pickle button, it's swinging right and left. Yeah. Take what I can, right here. Or two, two, one. Laser's off. Gone. Bomb's gone. Roger that. Right turn. Coming right. Coming right. Waiting for 20 seconds. Show four, one. Show, uh, 20 seconds time to go. Laser's coming on. Yeah, with me to the south. Laser coming on. Got the laser on. Holding the track and steady on the far corner. Right here. Big call sign. Calling that. Good. 10 seconds. Show four, one. I'm going to tell you, though. I think that's wind to the south. Four, three. Two, my position one. for about 10 miles. Oh, oh, yeah. right. Lasers off. Coming right. We destroyed that thing bigger than Dallas. Okay, coming right. Heading two.
Sam tight fit, tight fit. Looks like it's non guiding. Okay, we've got, uh, oh God. Magnum. Gotta like that.